In the vast expanse of Buddhist philosophy, the concept of the middle way resonates as a guiding principle, beckoning individuals to embark on a journey of balance and wisdom. This profound teaching, deeply rooted in the teachings of Shakyamuni Buddha, offers a beacon of hope amidst the turbulent currents of life's extremities. At its core, the middle way is a call to transcend the polarities that often entrap the human mind, a reminder that true fulfillment lies not in the pursuit of fleeting pleasures nor in the renunciation of earthly existence, but rather in the harmonious interplay between the physical and spiritual realms. As Nichiren Daishonin, the revered 13th century Buddhist reformer, eloquently stated, the middle way is the ultimate reality of all phenomena. The life of Shakyamuni Buddha himself serves as a poignant illustration of the middle way's significance. Born into the luxuries of princely life, he initially indulged in the pleasures of the flesh, only to find himself dissatisfied and yearning for a deeper understanding of existence. His subsequent embrace of extreme asceticism, however, proved equally unfulfilling, leading him to the realization that true enlightenment lay not in the rejection of the physical world, but in the harmonious balance between the material and the spiritual. Guided by this epiphany, Shakyamuni embarked on a path of meditation and self-discovery, ultimately attaining the sublime state of Buddhahood, a state of profound wisdom and compassion that transcended the confines of dualistic thinking. It was through this journey that he came to embody the essence of the middle way, a path that avoids the pitfalls of both indulgence and deprivation. In the centuries that followed, Buddhist scholars and practitioners alike have sought to elucidate the nuances of the middle way, each contributing to a richer understanding of this profound concept. Nagarjuna, the revered third-century philosopher, delved into the non-substantial nature of reality, asserting that there is no fixed basis to the ever-changing phenomena of life. His teachings illuminated the ultimate perspective on existence, which he termed the middle way, a recognition of the impermanent and interdependent nature of all things. Tian Te, the 6th century Chinese Buddhist scholar, further expanded upon Nagarjuna's insights, postulating that all phenomena are manifestations of a single entity, life itself. He underscored the indivisible interrelationship between the physical and the non-substantial aspects of existence, emphasizing the inseparability of the body and mind, the self and the environment. Tian Te's teachings laid the groundwork for a deeper appreciation of the harmonious interplay between the material and the spiritual realms. It was Nichiren Daishonin, however, who gave practical form to these often abstract arguments. Drawing from the profound wisdom of the Lotus Sutra, Nichiren Daishonin defined the middle way as the recitation of the sacred phrase, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Through this practice, he taught, one could harmonize and energize the physical and spiritual aspects of one's life, awakening to the deepest truth of one's existence. In Nichiren's view, life itself is the vital energy and wisdom that permeates the cosmos, manifesting as all phenomena and transcending the apparent contradictions between the physical and the mental, even between life and death. As Daisaku Akeda states, life gives rise to DNA, rather than the other way around. The middle way, therefore, is not merely a philosophical abstraction, but a living, breathing path that guides individuals towards a state of profound harmony and enlightenment. It is a call to embrace the richness of the present moment, to honor the sanctity of life in all its forms, and to cultivate a deep reverence for the interconnectedness of all beings. In a world that often oscillates between the extremes of materialism and idealism, the middle way offers a beacon of hope, a reminder that true fulfillment lies not in the pursuit of fleeting pleasures nor in the rejection of earthly existence, but rather in the harmonious interplay between the physical and spiritual realms. As Nichiren Daishonin poignantly expressed, the middle way is the ultimate reality of all phenomena, and the ultimate reality is the middle way. By embracing the middle way, individuals can transcend the limitations of dualistic thinking and awaken to the profound truth that life itself is a boundless, ever-unfolding tapestry of wisdom and compassion. It is a path that invites us to cultivate a deep reverence for the sanctity of life, to honor the interconnectedness of all beings, and to find solace in the harmonious dance of the physical and the spiritual. In a world that often seems mired in conflict and division, 
The Middle Way offers a beacon of hope, a reminder that true peace and enlightenment can be found not in the pursuit of extremes, but in the gentle embrace of balance and harmony. As we navigate the complexities of the modern age, may we be guided by the wisdom of the Middle Way, and may we find the courage to walk this path with open hearts and unwavering determination. In the unfolding tapestry of human existence, the Middle Way stands as a beacon of hope, guiding us towards a path of balance, harmony, and profound understanding. As we continue our exploration of this profound concept, we are reminded of the enduring wisdom it offers, transcending the boundaries of time and culture. The teachings of the Middle Way invite us to embrace the present moment with a deep sense of reverence and mindfulness. It is a call to awaken to the inherent beauty and interconnectedness of all life, to honor the sanctity of existence in its myriad forms. As Nichiren Daishonin eloquently expressed, the Middle Way is the ultimate reality of all phenomena, and the ultimate reality is the Middle Way. In a world that often seems fractured by conflicts and divisions, the Middle Way reminds us of the fundamental unity that underlies all existence. It calls upon us to transcend the limitations of dualistic thinking, to move beyond the rigid boundaries of us and them, and to recognize the profound truth that we are all part of a vast, interconnected web of life. This realization has profound implications for how we approach the challenges and complexities of our time. Rather than reacting with fear or hostility, the middle way invites us to respond with compassion and wisdom, to seek understanding rather than entrenchment, and to find common ground amidst the diversity of human experience. As we navigate the turbulent currents of the modern age, the middle way offers a steadfast anchor, reminding us to cultivate a sense of equanimity and balance in the face of adversity. It is a path that invites us to embrace both the joys and the sorrows of life, to find strength in the ebb and flow of existence, and to cultivate a deep appreciation for the impermanence that permeates all things. In this journey, the teachings of the Lotus Sutra serve as a guiding light, illuminating the path towards a deeper understanding of the Middle Way. As Nichiren Daishonin taught, the recitation of the sacred phrase, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, is a profound practice that enables us to harmonize the physical and spiritual aspects of our lives, awakening to the boundless potential and wisdom that resides within each of us. Through this practice, we can tap into the wellspring of life's inherent vitality and creativity, unleashing a torrent of positive energy that has the power to transform not only our individual lives but also the world around us. As Daisaku Akeda states, life gives rise to DNA, rather than the other way around. It is this profound understanding of life's primacy that lies at the heart of the middle way. Ultimately, the middle way is not merely a philosophical construct, but a living, breathing path that invites us to embrace the fullness of our humanity, to cultivate a deep reverence for the sanctity of life, and to find joy and fulfillment in the harmonious interplay between the physical and the spiritual realms. As we continue on this journey, may we be guided by the wisdom of the ages, drawing inspiration from the teachings of Shakyamuni Buddha, Nagarjuna, Tiyan Te, and Nichiren Daishonin. May we find the courage to walk the middle way with open hearts and unwavering determination, recognizing that it is through this path that we can truly awaken to the boundless potential and beauty of life itself. In a world that often seems consumed by chaos and discord, the middle way offers a beacon of hope, a reminder that true peace and enlightenment are not found in the pursuit of extremes, but rather in the gentle embrace of balance and harmony. May we have the wisdom to heed this call, and may we find the strength to walk this path with unwavering resolve, for it is in this journey that we can truly discover the profound depths of our own humanity and the interconnectedness that binds us all together in the vast tapestry of existence. As we delve deeper into the timeless wisdom of the Middle Way, we are reminded of its profound relevance in our modern age. In a world that often seems consumed by the relentless pursuit of material wealth and fleeting pleasures, the teachings of the Middle Way offer a much-needed counterbalance, a call to cultivate a sense of balance and moderation in all aspects of our lives. Yet, the Middle Way is not a path of passive acceptance or complacency. Rather, it demands a deep commitment to self-reflection and personal growth, inviting us to examine our thoughts, words, and actions with honesty and courage. 
As Nichiren Daishonin emphasized, the true practice of the middle way requires unwavering faith and a steadfast determination to confront and overcome the innumerable challenges that life presents. In this journey of self-discovery, the Eightfold Path outlined by Shakyamuni Buddha serves as an invaluable guide, illuminating the way towards a life of harmony and enlightenment. Through the cultivation of right view, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration, we can navigate the complexities of existence with clarity and wisdom, transcending the pitfalls of extremism and ignorance. The middle way also calls upon us to embrace the universal truth of impermanence, to recognize that all phenomena, both physical and mental, are in a constant state of flux. This understanding liberates us from the illusion of permanence and the attachment that so often leads to suffering. As the venerable Thich Nhat Hanh eloquently expressed, the middle way is the way of non-duality, the way of letting go of all views. By letting go of our preconceived notions and rigid beliefs, we open ourselves to the boundless possibilities of life, allowing us to respond to each moment with freshness and spontaneity. This is the essence of the middle way, a path that invites us to embrace the present moment fully, without clinging or aversion, and to find peace and contentment in the ever-changing flow of existence. Moreover, the middle way reminds us of the profound interconnectedness that binds all life together. It is a call to transcend the narrow confines of self-interest and to cultivate a deep sense of compassion and empathy for all beings. As the revered Buddhist scholar Thich Nhat Hanh taught, the middle way is the way of compassion and non-violence, the way of accepting and loving all beings. By embodying these principles, we can transform not only our own lives but also the world around us, becoming agents of positive change and contributing to the creation of a more just, compassionate, and harmonious society. Ultimately, the middle way is a path of profound wisdom and transformation, inviting us to shed the shackles of ignorance and attachment and to awaken to the boundless potential that resides within each of us. It is a journey that demands courage, perseverance, and a deep commitment to personal growth, but one that promises to reveal the true depths of our humanity and the interconnectedness that binds us all together in the vast tapestry of existence. As we navigate the complexities of the modern age, may we be guided by the timeless wisdom of the middle way, finding solace in its teachings and drawing strength from the countless individuals who have walked this path before us. May we have the courage to embrace this journey with open hearts and unwavering determination, for it is in this path that we can truly discover the profound depths of our own humanity and the beauty that lies at the heart of all existence.